Yeah, we had uh, a number of highlights uh, as Ultron. In fact, I'm, I'm very excited with the results that we delivered. If you look at our continued operations, uh, we grew the continued operations year on year 6%. And these are operations that we are going to be left with when we dispose of the power tech and UEC. And this is the core business that we are going to be taking forward. We are building this company based on that core business. And for it to be growing at that percentage, that's fantastic. That's a good thing. The level of debt, we reduce our debt by 42%. And uh, uh, this year, I mean last year at this time, we're sitting at about 3.4 billion. And right now we've got 1.9 billion uh, of debt. We would like to take that down to one, you know, and that is, that is our, our focus going forward. Mm. And uh, also, my highlight was, uh, is uh, Nestor. Mm. Nestor is, is one of those uh, entities that uh, we continue to be proud of. They ventured now more into business to business by providing fleet services. And this business this year, it grew uh, 4% and the profit it grew 5%. And again, that is great, great performance by the team. And we also have got a number of other key areas that, uh, that, are, that are huge growth opportunities for us, uh, like Arrow. Arrow grew the business 44% year on year. Yeah, so yeah, uh, I'm comfortable, I'm happy with, uh, with what we have you know, within Ultron. You know, I've spent uh, now the, the last month, and, and uh, I'm not one of those people who spent, uh, you know, the time at head office. So the first thing that I did was to go out <laughs> and meet people in the operations. And I met the management team in the operations. I also met the staff in the operations you know, without management and listening to them and asking them questions, you know. And when I came out of it a year, a month later, coming out of those engagements, uh, I pick up really three things. The first one is that uh, we have got great, great people here. Uh, this company was built by our founder based on, on making sure that we, we, know we, we lead when it comes to innovation. We still have those people in this company. You know? We just need to give them the oxygen, give them the support so that they can come out and do more for us great people. The second thing is I looked at our capabilities overall and uh, matched those capabilities what, with what I think our customers are looking for. I found that there's a clear match between what we have and what our customers are looking for. That is great. But then one thing that we need to do different, we need to make sure that we, when we go to see customers, Whoever is seeing that customer is representing the full breadth of our offerings to that customer, not the different silos. You know. So that's the three, those are the three things that are picked up. So when I look at all of this overall, uh, this is a great thing for, for us. We can only grow by just focusing on the customers that we have and cross-selling to them, we will be able to grow this company. Look, we, we can be just like any other ICT company in South Africa. You know, that's one route. And we have chosen not to be there like that. We have chosen to be a company that stand out. And, and, but when, when you say you want to stand out, you need to be clear about the areas where you want to stand out in. And, and we have decided we have to focus really on, on, on four areas. Uh, the first one is what I call safety and security. Mm. This is a big challenge facing our country, with high levels of crime, the fraud that's happening within corporations. You know, uh, if you go to the malls, the robberies that are happening there, we need to protect the physical environment. And I look at what we have in Ultron. You know, we've got bio biometric devices, we've got uh, technologies that do facial recognition, we've got CCTV capabilities. We also have got Nexta. When you put all of this together, we can be a formidable player in the safety and security of our country. And not just our country, even beyond our country. So that's the first area. The second area of focus for us is uh, uh, healthcare management. Today, we're managing 
almost all of the practices of the doctors. And we have also extended that capability to include clinics, managing the clinics. When you look at it, primary health care in this country is collapsing, largely because of lack of management in the private, in the public hospitals. So what we would like to see is to extend the capabilities that we have, extend those to provide these services to the public hospitals, uh, in a way helping them reduce their costs, but also making sure that they help them to be able to provide the services to us as citizens. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's the second area. The third area is about financial inclusion. We still have in our country millions of people that are outside of the formal economy. They do not have bank accounts. But these people are going around with cell phones, they are doing all sorts of things. We need to find a way of bringing them in. And already we've got solutions that help uh, micro lenders manage their business. We want to extend those capabilities to go beyond to address some of the gaps that we are finding in the market around uh, including, including many of Africans to bring them into the formal economy. And the third one is, I mean, the fourth area is, is around uh, ICT skills. You know, uh, we, we have huge shortage of ICT skills. And we have got Bytes People Solution, whose job it is is to train uh, many many uh, train uh, the employees of companies, train people who are unemployed. We want to find and build innovative models that are going to help us to scale. Instead of doing 20,000 a year, why don't we do a million a year? Let's find ways of doing that. Uh, in that way, we'll be helping bring the necessary skills to this economy. So these, those are the four areas that are going to define who we are as Ultron. We, where when you're coming up with a strategy, uh, any acquisitions that we make, we'll be making acquisitions to fill the gaps mm -hmm. that we find within those areas. You know. Maybe we do not have a way of, of connecting the pharmacist. Yeah. Is, there a, is, is there a solution that we can plug in to what we have? Mm -hmm. who, who does that? And we go and, and, and acquire that, for example. Mm -hmm.